Hello and welcome back everyone. You may have noticed that I've been on a bit of an hiatus lately and I just wanted to shoot a quick video and just just to update you guys on things. Um, I've noticed that I've have gained a few subscribers lately so to the new subscribers I say hello and to the old subscribers I say thanks for staying tuned. Um, and I just wanted to shoot a little video, I've been meaning to actually film this for a long time and that is regarding how to spruce up this Swiss Army knife. So let's get to it right away. Now as it is, the Swiss Army knife, in this case the Victorinox Spartan, is already a very uh, functional and you know very usable knife and multi-tool you could say. But there's a few things that I think you can do to kind of get a few more uses out of out of your knife. And uh, the, the first one that I'm going to suggest is, well, nearly almost free. Um, I'm sure somewhere in your house you have a sewing kit somewhere. And in those sewing kits you will find needles and pins. Now this is a feature that only Victorinox uh, Swiss Army knives have. Vengers don't have this feature, but when you open up your corkscrew, and I believe you actually have to have one that has a corkscrew, uh, that's one thing I may have overlooked. Uh, but in any case, when you open up your corkscrew, you will notice that there's this tiny, tiny pinhole right there, which it's actually exactly what it's for. It's a pinhole. Uh, if you can notice on my Swiss Champion over here, it, it shipped out of the factory with a uh, pin. Now you can put a pin right here. We got a little round head pin. Oh, if I can pick it up, with my clumsy fingers. And you can just place that pin right into there, and you will have a pin. Well, why why would a pin be handy? Well, if you have a little splinter in your finger, you can always take out a splinter, or if you need to fasten fabric or something like that, you will have a pin at the ready, or if you would like, you can uh, install a, a needle there. In my case, I've wrapped a bit of thread there, and I would recommend you do the same because the uh, thread will help you pull the, pull the needle out of the compartment right there. So there you go. Make sure it's low enough for this corkscrew to clear it. Uh, right there. And it will close. And you can open it and you know, now the string unraveled, but then you can pull it out by the string. Or if you would like, you can switch to... Where did it go? Kind of difficult doing this from the viewfinder. Of course, also kind of difficult to pick them up. Uh, or you can place your pin in the said pinhole, like so. So that's one. Another feature you can add to your Swiss Army knife is are these little tiny screwdrivers right here. And I'll show you where to install them. Now you can buy these from Amazon. Uh, I, I don't remember the exact um, price for them. I will put a link in the description. But these, these just go into your corkscrew like so. And you close it up. And now you have a, a small uh, screwdriver that you can use to fix your uh, glasses. Now one thing that's cool, I mean this was a six pack and I already have used up three of them. Uh, the interesting thing on this is that you can use them on Wenger uh, Swiss Army knives as well. The corkscrew spiral is nearly identical. So that that, that is a really cool thing and I've added one here. Again... The Swiss Champion being that it is the Swiss Champion shipped with one already installed, so that's that. And now, last but not least, or maybe I should say the best for last, I'm going to install this Swiss clip to my uh, Swiss Army knife and, you know, make it complete, so to speak. <laughs> Now, if you can see over here, it says compatible with all 91 millimeter models, uh, Victorinox models. And this is one of the 91 millimeter Victorinox models. They have an entire list of this, uh, of which models it will work on 
and which it won't work on. I also bought this from Amazon and I will put the link in the description. Here we can see the back, you can see actually, oh, there we go, they have the have a list of the compatible models right there. Spartan, which is what I have, there's the Spartan Light, which I think comes with a built-in light. Um, patent pending, made in China. Uh, what can you do? Uh, these come in black and stainless steel. I picked black. I think stainless steel was sold out. So let's get it out of the package and let's get it installed. I'm going to cut right to it. So now with the clip installed, we can uh, carry this in the pocket. Now, um, one thing I did notice, I generally don't really care for this, um, the little lanyard loop here i mean it does come with a little split ring there that i always remove because it'll rattle and destroy your handle scales uh, but you end up you know you know with installing this clip you end up losing that feature not a big deal for me but nonetheless something to think about and another um i guess you could say inconvenience is the fact that your tweezers are now kind of stuck down there but well, you can remedy that by taking out your toothpick and then using it to lever out your uh, tweezers. And there you go. Um, I'm going to show a couple of pictures of this being carried in the pocket. Uh, one thing I would change about it personally is I would change this... Uh, the Phillips head screwdriver with a either a slotted or maybe a hex key maybe even a tiny Torx I really am not a fan of Phillips head screws for some reason there I've, I've found that uh, oftentimes if a screw strips is generally a Phillips um, I've hardly seen any slotted screws strip out um, I'm not I'm not saying that it's not possible but you know but yeah, other than that, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's not it's not something that I'm going to be putting on and taking off a lot, so it shouldn't be a really big issue. And here we have a completely spruced out, ready to go Swiss Army, Swiss Army knife. Now, um, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. If you think this is uh, this is something that you want to do to your knife, or if if there's anything else that uh, you would like me like to see me do i'd like to hear from that if you like this video give me a thumbs up consider subscribing to see more videos like this and i will see you next time have a great day